you guys. I'm back. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, well, I should tell you guys about a story. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm trying to get that <clears throat> Anyways, um, about, I'm going to say maybe a couple months ago. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened to you guys, okay? I got a speeding ticket. Okay? I actually have, well, actually three all together. I'm driving. Um, the first speeding ticket that I got, I gladly accepted. Okay, because I did it. Don't speed, but I did it. Um, <clears throat> the second speeding ticket that I got, okay, gladly accepted it because I didn't learn the first time I sped. So I gladly accepted it, okay? My third speeding ticket really pissed me off, all right? And here's the reason why it pissed me off. Man, they're really just messing these roads up left and right every single day. Sorry, I completely got sidetracked. You, yeah, you fucking would. You fucking would. switch to the next like second gear because it's revving like four or five thousand rpms and the other issue that it has um it has a power it's like it's losing power really really bad now i am a v8 guy love v8s okay i got a dodge durango it's a 5.9 liter v8 it's got some modifications to it stock but that's my issue um so this jeep is like a it's a v6 i think it's like a a 4.3 or whatever i don't know don't really care um but anyways like i was saying it revs four to five thousand rpms before it's you know sometimes it doesn't even want to switch to second gear it just keeps on revving and revving and revving and um Finally, when it does switches over, 
you got like the engine light that just rapidly, rapidly, ridiculously flickers on and off and on and off. Now I had a buddy of mine, he told me when it does that, that means you're putting too much stress on the engine and you're gonna blow your engine because it's not switching gears. Well, needless to say, um, it didn't do that, it didn't blow anything, but it just, I could floor the damn pedal, you guys, and it would like go from like 20 to 30 and literally stop at like 40 miles an hour. Anyways, beside the point, um, here was the issue. I went, instead of using my truck or my other vehicle, I decided, hey, I'm gonna use the Jeep to pick up my kids. Well, I did that and uh, it drove all right. I took my sweet time, you know, my kids, I was well overdue, or not overdue, but um, I'm gonna try and say, uh, I was early with picking up my kids. So I was taking my sweet time, just relaxing, got to the school, picked them up, headed back home. Now here's my issue, okay? Third speeding ticket, because I completely got off topic. Um, as I was driving down the road, I was doing 40 miles an hour. 40 and a 55, okay? A cop went the opposite direction that I was going, and um, I see him in my, my side mirror, my rearview mirror, whatever. I see him actually cross a double yellow line, flip around, and then basically sped up to get behind me. So I pull over. Not knowing what's going on, I pull over, okay? And um, he basically said that he clocked me going 90. Now, I'm not an officer, okay? Never been in law enforcement before, all right? So I don't know anything about a cop except for like laws and stuff like that. I'm very knowledgeable in that. But I don't know anything else when it comes to like their vehicles and what they have or anything. So maybe you guys could tell me, you know, because he said he clocked me at 90, but he said he was in a nice mood. So he wrote my ticket for 80. And I'm thinking the only way he could have clocked me at 90, at 90 miles an hour, me doing 40, him doing 50, that adds up to 90. Now, I don't know how their radar crap works whether if it's on the front of their vehicle and can they actually clock somebody on a radar as they're driving I don't know how that crap works I didn't argue with him it really wasn't the mood I had my kids in the you know in the back seat and it was hot all right now I gotta go to court because of this stupid speeding ticket and actually smart because the Jeep just went into the shop and uh, I'm gonna have my, uh, um, the guy that's working on the Jeep, um, he, I'm gonna have him either write something down or whatever saying that this vehicle is incapable of going 90 miles an hour. It's incapable of going 80 or whatever. They wouldn't even go, you know, past 40 miles an hour. And I'm gonna use that in court to see what happens. I don't, doubt if anything's gonna happen um but yeah that's my issue so i got three tickets and i know a lot of you guys out there you're like oh well raymond i've had so many tickets in my life i got like 20 tickets i got like 10 i got 50 whatever that's good for you guys i give you guys props that's good for you not for me <laughs> you know I i'm not one to do all that and i don't encourage it but if you can do it and not get caught, just keep that keep that to yourself. But anyways, um, so yeah, I gotta deal with that stupid ticket. So I admitted and, and accepted the two responsibilities for the other two tickets that I recently got. But this third one was bullshit. Okay? Absolutely bullshit. So I don't know what to do on that, man. Um I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. I'm done ratting and raving. Please leave a like on the video. Um, if you liked it, if you're not, whatever. Um, yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you know anything about these, these cops and their SUVs and you know, the whole idea of them being able to clock you as they're driving and 
I don't know. I just think it's stupid. I think it's bullshit. Okay? Because there's got to be a conflict somewhere. I don't know if, like, if their vehicle is able to clock you going at a certain speed, but, like, uh, cancels out their speed so it narrows it down. And I don't know. All right. But I love you guys. You guys have a good